The mandible is the lower jawbone and provides sockets for the lower set of teeth. It is a large and strong and also provides the contour for the lower part of the face. It consists of the body and ramus. The ramus gives two projections superiorly, the condylar and coronoid processes. The condylar process articulates with the mandibular fossa to form the temporomandibular joint. It is closely related to the submandibular triangle, inframedially, and the infratemporal fossa posteriorly. It also provides a bony anchor to several muscles and ligaments of this region and protects the oropharynx. At its lower anterior end, it forms a bony landmark called the chin. The lower border of the mandible forms the upper edge of the neck. Hence, it is a line of demarcation between the head and neck. The parotid and the submandibular salivary gland, the tongue and its muscles, vessels and nerves are closely related to it. The hyoid bone is located in the upper neck, a little below the mandible. Inferior to it is the thyroid cartilage. It is a small U-shaped bone in the midline of the neck, anteriorly. It appears to be suspended like a swing from the styloid process by the stylohyoid ligament. It consists of the body, a greater cornu, and a lesser cornu. It is unusual that this bone does not articulate with any other bone. Its size is deceptive since it gives attachment to several muscles of the pharyngeal region. Like the scapula, it is held in position by the muscles and ligaments which attach to it.